They say that everyone remembers their first time. And I can say that I remember mine. I walked into the room slowly because I knew what was coming next. Then I grabbed you gently, then I lifted you carefully, then I carried you over to the desk where I lay you down and began to caress your sides until my fingers were sore. And I knew that was my cue to go all in, and although I know that nobody is perfect, just for a moment, we were and we made magic as I would push, but not too hard as every push was a pillow folded over from the cold side to the warm instead. I remember my first time when this happened at the age of nine. <laughs> you know I'm talking about poetry, right? See, I was in grade three when I lost my virginity to poetry. I wrote about Earth Day, how if I were mayor, the air would be clean and the earth would be safe. I lay my page down, then I went down on it, hoping for lyrical climaxes, but it didn't come. <laughs> well, I guess they say you get better with practices. For our play, foreplay was four-line wordplay, and once I finally finished, it spilled out all over the page until the paper swallowed every letter and it left a stain on the sheet. And this wasn't my last time around the old hole punch sheets. And it defeats the purpose to try and deny it, so I guess what I am here for is for me to admit that I am a poetry whore. Yeah. I am the nymphomaniac of linguistic craniacs. I am the gigolo of haiku, the escort of spoken word, the prostitute of sonnets, and I love me a dirty hundred. <laughs> as I coax the words into my head, and I write them down as I wish them to be read, and I make every single stroke of my pencil count, though I do make mistakes, and I guess that's why it has a rubber. I, I run on hell, massaging my temples until it feels sublime, and every time I hear a rhyme, I feel fine, even if it's another poet's line, because that puts ink in my pen, and I'm no longer on that lonely island. Because I just had sex with the last poem I wrote, and to quote former actress Mae West, sex is emotion in motion, such devotion that I have to poetry in motion, every syllable is a love potion with the notion that I can penetrate your mind with every word, because every time that I go to a slam, I want to blow your mind. And this obsession has become so large that I even want to bet the simplest poem that's ever been said. Roses are red, violets are blue. Poets and poems turn me on. Now how about you? 